A combination of music and cutting-edge technology lies at the heart of two research projects in the southwest. At the Arts Institute at Bournemouth, students have been testing and producing content for a prototype audiovisual product called the DVJ X1. Developed by Pioneer, the product combines video mixing with traditional DJing to produce a full audiovisual performance, all controlled from the same decks. And at Bath Spa University College, they've developed a multimedia educational package that will revolutionise the teaching of music and music technology in schools. The music key is the work of Bath Spa's Sendia, the Centre for Digital and Interactive Audio, in a joint venture with Sound Technology PLC, and it's designed both for teachers and pupils of all ages. The music key is a multimedia resource that teaches a national curriculum for music from junior right the way through to A level. It utilises a multimedia interface with text files and video files to teach traditional music and music technology in a present day context. Running Apple's Logic software in the background, the Music Key interface shows the user what to do, explains every concept and provides sample song files which are loaded into the Apple software. There a pupil can play, edit or recompose them with different instruments. The multimedia interface utilises text files and movie files to show students how to use Apple Logic software in the classroom. It can also be used by teachers as a toolkit to conduct music classes, with all the information and topics that need to be covered in a national curriculum year contained within the software. It's designed to teach both traditional music and leading-edge music technology. It covers singing, composition, arranging and music theory, all the elements of the music curriculum, yet it does so through a music technology platform. The grounds between the two are certainly becoming quite confused these days. Where it's, we're talking about uh, a music curriculum with theory and traditional concepts, they are taught on screen um, with movie files and text files, and that crosses over into areas of music technology where the projects, the, uh, the, the actual composition projects that you're doing, you drop into uh, Apple Logic software, which runs in the background at the same time. So the distinction between the two is certainly becoming blurred, but both areas are covered through the one interface. So far, Sendia have created two packages, AS Music Technology and National Diploma Music Technology. They're now working on a junior package, and in all there will be 12 covering every year of the national curriculum. Soon, the music key will be unlocking the musical talents of students of all ages across the UK. At first glance, it might seem closer to clubbing than the classroom, but what the students at the Arts Institute of Bournemouth are collaborating on represents the leading edge fusion of art and technology. The DVJ X1's technology allows the manipulation of video stored on DVD in the same way and at the same time as audio. It works like a CD mixer, replicating the way vinyl was traditionally used for mixing. It allows scratching and looping but because it can absorb three gigabytes of RAM buffer, it allows the manipulation of high quality images as well as music. The result is a tool that introduces a whole new era of audiovisual performance. The students first collaborated with Dr. Charles Creel, senior lecturer at the Arts Institute and professional VJ, by producing video content for a live telecast for the BBC from Glastonbury. Now, as well as learning how to VJ themselves and helping to test the prototype, they're producing a how-to VJ DVD to accompany the product when it's released commercially. There's a lot of feedback that comes from the students because everybody who touches the machine sees it in a different way and everybody who touches the machine works in it in a different way. So all that information comes back to me. I, ha I end up with a more complex understanding of how the machine works. And then of course I go off and I work with Pioneer and the engineers who are designing the next versions of these machines. And suddenly this gets fed back into the product development, which is fantastic for everybody concerned. The project teaches both the art of audiovisual performance and the discipline of working with industry. Above all, the students are getting hands-on experience with cutting-edge technology, which will open up new areas of art and performance through the simultaneous manipulation of video and audio. It really is the birth of a whole new medium and the birth of a whole new aesthetic, and I think the permutations of it will be infinite.